Hello, this is uh, Mayor Mike Inman coming to you from Macomb City Hall. It's Friday, May 8, 2020, uh, with our COVID-19 update for Macomb and McDonough County. Uh, the information that's being shared with us from uh, the McDonough County Health Department, uh, there, we are currently uh, with 48 confirmed cases in McDonough County. Uh, that's uh, a handful more than when we last spoke. And some, I, I think a bit of good news there is that those cases are coming in uh, much less significantly in number than they were earlier this week. So uh, two reported today, three reported yesterday. And if you remember earlier this week, we had considerably more cases being reported. So I'm, I'm encouraged. I hope that's a trend in, in the right direction. And again, our uh, concerns goes out concern go out to those patients that are being affected by this and, and their families. The health department is reporting that uh, four uh, of their 48 positive cases have recovered. And uh, as a reminder, uh, testing is readily available at McDonough District Hospital. And with the hope and understanding that you would reach out through their nurse hotline, which is appearing on your screen now, and they'll be open uh, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on the hotline, and then actually the uh, the screening tent will be open tomorrow, Saturday, from 8 to 1, and then Sunday from 8 to 1, and their normal operating times for the screening tent are 8 to 4. Uh, and again, the, the ask is, even though the many of the re requirements and uh, for screening have been modified to allow uh, virtually anyone to be screened, uh, they would request that you give them a call at the nurse triage hotline to coordinate your uh, arrival there. Some encouraging news from the state level, the governor's office reported that as uh, over the last 24 hours, some 20,000 tests had been processed through the Department of Public Health uh, testing sites from, uh, excuse me, testing facilities from 244 state testing sites spread across the Illinois. Um, so I think that's encouraging, especially as we keep hearing from many of our uh, experts and sources that one way that we can move our economy forward is predicated on getting people tested and then contact tracing to find out who those folks are that um, are suffering from the, the, uh, the virus and so that they can be um, uh, isolated and we can make some strides in moving the, uh, uh, not only getting them treated obviously, but make some strides in opening up the economy. So we're encouraged by those numbers and we're encouraged by the, the opportunities that that presents for our local health department and the hospital to engage in those uh, tests and that contact tracing to follow up. Um, we would also share with you the, some activities going on this weekend. Uh, first and foremost, we want to wish uh, those WIU students that are graduating from Western uh, this weekend through a virtual graduation process. Our most sincere congratulations on uh, getting that uh, milestone uh, accomplished here and most, uh, most importantly that it was here at Western and in Macomb. Our very best wishes to them and for those students that are finishing uh, finals this week and we'll be looking forward to a summer away from Macomb. We wish them the very best and we look forward to very possibly seeing them return here to campus in the fall and, and we're encouraged by some preliminary numbers we're, we're hearing from the, uh, the campus and the university about fall enrollment numbers. So we'll keep our very best efforts and focus on our friends and students at, uh, that are Leathernecks at Western Illinois University. Also, we're celebrating Nurses Week this week. What a almost uh, ironic time to be uh, acknowledging these, these folks are, that are in the midst and in the thick of this fight against this uh, virus, but uh, taking a moment to acknowledge the nursing staff across uh, the country, but particularly here in our local community that have always done a great job of taking good care of us, but we're relying on them even more now. So our hats off uh, to our nursing uh, component here in the community and our sincere, sincere appreciation for everything they do. Uh, we also want to take a moment and uh, uh, give a shout out to all those essential workers that are continuing to occupy businesses that are have been deemed essential throughout this pandemic and we continue to count on them, whether those are cashiers at uh, the local grocery store or um, a whole myriad of folks that are in uh, essential businesses making sure we get access to food and gas and our banking services and doctor's appointments and all and our cars repaired and all those other things that we we have uh, been 
blessed with being able to continue to have access to during this pandemic and, and know that they, in, in many cases, have put their health and well-being on the line to make sure that we're cared for. Again, a shout out to them uh, as we uh, go into this weekend. And probably uh, um, the one that we all are thinking about, it's Mother's Day this uh, Sunday. And uh, where would we be? Obviously, no pun intended, where would we be without mothers in our lives? So. Um, Take a moment, and, and as we uh, said a little earlier this week, take an extra few minutes and make sure you treat your, your mothers well this weekend. And for those that uh, are no longer with the, uh, graced with the, the physical presence of their mothers, we extend to them our, our sympathies and know that we uh, all share uh, great memories of our mothers. And we take an extra moment uh, this weekend to pray for them and, and acknowledge them in, in our lives. So. Again, I get a, a bit of good news on the number side of our equation today, so we'll hope that that continues. Uh, next week, uh, we would remind you, it would be normally the spring cleanup, and as we've uh, stated several times, I did get a call in my office as uh, late as just a few moments before we started recording today from someone who wanted to know if we were still doing the spring cleanup next week. And, and again, that's postponed. Please share that widely with uh, folks that you know that would be expecting that. It's been postponed. Um, that has not been canceled. Our hope is that as things start to uh, improve with uh, the, the virus and we get those numbers reduced that we'll get some indication from waste management when we can look forward to that, that traditional spring cleanup. Don't know when that is for sure, but we'll make sure that when we do have an idea, we'll give you plenty of advance notice. But for next week, please, please do not put anything at your curbside other than your normal gra uh, garbage container or recycling container because we'll not be engaged in that spring cleanup next week or any time in the foreseeable future. Um, it is going to be a, a good weekend this weekend for many of the reasons we've already outlined. Please take the opportunity to enjoy some quality time with your family, get out, do some exercising, again, as a household unit, uh, an opportunity to get out and uh, do a little yard work maybe, or just enjoy uh, sitting outside and, and breathing some fresh air. That's it for this, uh, this session. Again, we'll be in touch.